Hey guys, welcome back. We are now working on question number 34, and this question says, if 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0, then x equals what? So this question is asking us to factor this polynomial here. So if you remember, there's a few different ways we could factor this. Um, we could do the way where we try to figure out some combination of what multiplies to this and adds to this. I don't like to use that method when I don't have a one here. You can, I just don't really like to. We could also use the tic-tac-toe method, which I've taught. Um, we could also use the quadratic, or we could even complete the square. So you may be a little bit overwhelmed trying to choose between them. But just by looking at these answer choices, like both of these have a fraction and these all include square roots. So to be honest, I think you're not going to be able to factor this using a lot of these methods or at least not do so nicely because of course you could complete the square, but you're going to end up with fractions and it's going to be messy. So whenever I see answer choices like this, especially with a number here in front of X, I typically default to the quadratic equation, which I know is kind of long, but honestly, it's sometimes it's just the best way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, uh, this method for this question. So if you remember the quadratic, it's x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. Sorry, I forgot the square root. Square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now this is our a, this is our b, and this is our c, a, b, c. It goes in order. So minus b is going to be a positive 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 2 times negative 1, all over 2 times 2. Okay, now we just have to simplify. So 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. I like to figure out what this sign is first. So negative times a negative is a positive. And then 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 1 is just 1. So that's plus 8 over 4. Okay, and I didn't really need the rest of this, but I'm just going to leave it. So now I'm left with 2 plus or minus square root of 12 over 4. Now simplifying this, uh, actually I'm going to do this on this side. So the square root of 12 breaks down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And this is just 2. So this equals 2 rad 3. So now I'm going to get 2 plus or minus 2 rad 3 over 4. Now I can simplify this by a factor of 2. So if I took a 2 out of the top, this would become 1 plus or minus rad 3 over 2 times 2, and now these can cancel. So our final answer becomes 1 plus or minus rad 3 over 2. So one thing to note, this is one of the major things my students get confused with uh, when using the quadratic equation. If I had a different instance, like let's say this was, here I'm just going to rope this off here. Let's say this instead was 1 plus or minus 2 rad 3 over 4. You cannot cancel these at all. The only time you can cancel is if you have a common factor in every single term. So that's a very common mistake. And just remember, you cannot cancel it unless you have the common factor in each term. So if you had like a 4 here, then you could take a 2 out of every term. But again, it has to come out of every single term. All right, uh, so going back here though, this was our answer, so this would be answer choice D. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you had any trouble with this problem, I recommend reviewing the quadratic formula. And yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, requests, leave them in the comments for me below and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, thanks, see ya.